Everyone, I'm Nate, and this is core and stretch. Please always consult with the physician before you start a new exercise program. Core and stretch, we're going to focus on the first half, working on the core and the hips. Second half of the class, we're going to do uh, more of the stretching of the hips, just to kind of keep everything in our midsection nice and loose. So we'll stretch the hips and the legs second. We're going to work the core and the hips on the first part. So. Just like last week, we're going to do two different exercises. We're going to go back and forth between the two for multiple rounds. We're going to come down to the ground. Almost all of our exercises are going to be on the ground in this uh, class. So come on down to the ground. We're going to mix a core and a hip exercise up. So first one we're going to do for core is a plank. We did this last week. You have two choices. You can do a regular plank with a forearm where you're going to push up on your toes, keep a nice flat line with your body. Or your modified plank is you're going to go off the knees. Same idea with the elbows, off the knees and a nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees. So you can either go off the knees for modified or on the toes for something more challenging. So pick which one you want to do. We're going to go for 45 seconds today. So let's come on down, get in position, let's prop ourselves up, and here we go. With a nice flat line with your body. Hold your core nice and tight. Shaking is okay. You want to keep holding it right through that shakiness. It means your muscles are working hard to kind of hold themselves in position. You can always start with a regular plank and then switch, uh, you know, any point to go to a modified if you need to. If you get too tired and you feel like your form's starting to go out on you. 15 seconds to go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down nice and easy. All right, we're gonna mix that one up. That's gonna be our core exercise. We're gonna do a hip next. We're gonna do a clamshell to start. So a clamshell is a hip rotation exercise. We're gonna lie on our side. We're gonna bend the knees a little bit. We're gonna keep the feet and the knees on top of each other to start. We're gonna keep the feet always touching each other. And we're just gonna rotate that top knee up towards the ceiling. But we're not gonna to try to rotate our hip up. We're gonna to try to keep our hip kind of facing in the forward direction. Otherwise, you're gonna rotate your torso and you're gonna be losing what we're trying to do. So doesn't matter what leg you wanna start on, just lay on either side, feet together, knees together. And here we go, we're gonna rotate up, and rotate down. This class would be a class where you know, I might start bringing some bands into it. If you have any of those like circular bands that you see in our facility, if you have any of those at home, um, we'll probably start using those in the next few weeks. And if you want to grab some there, they're not too much and they're nice to have because you can do a lot with them at home. So trying to just keep that hip facing forward. The only thing rotating up is that knee. And you just try to feel that outer hip rotate up. We're going 45 seconds each side. Two more. Go one more. Good, you can roll to your face the other direction. I'm gonna spin and turn just so I can keep, you can keep seeing me on the camera. Same idea, start with knees together and feet together. We're gonna take that top knee. I'm gonna rotate that up to the ceiling, trying to keep that hip facing in the forward direction. We don't want that hip facing the ceiling. We just want that knee rotating up towards the ceiling. You might be a little bit more flexible, but go as far as you can without rotating that hip up. You got 45 seconds on this one. Ten seconds to go. Two more. Last one. Good. Okay. We're gonna go back and forth through those two exercises. So called a superset. When you take two exercises, you kind of just go back and forth, back and forth, very little rest. We're gonna to go to a plank. You can go off the knees for modified, like so. 
or off the toes if you want something more challenging. All right, so here we go. We're gonna prop up, hold it. 45 seconds, good breathing, don't hold your breath. Shaking this is okay. One thing we do not want to do is dip our hips down to the ground. You do not want to create like an arch to the ground that's going to really hurt your lower back. So you're better off being a little higher in the air than a little lower. That just protects your lower back. And ideally, you want to be in a nice straight line. 15 seconds to go. We're going to do a 45 second plank, which is a good amount of time. It's a good point. You got 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can come down nice and easy. You're gonna turn to a side, pick whichever side you like. We're gonna be doing both. We're gonna rotate that top knee up towards the ceiling, keeping the feet in contact with each other and keeping our hip facing in our forward direction along with our shoulders. All right, so take that top leg. Here we go, rotate it up. And you can rotate, rotate that knee as high as you can, keeping that good form. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. One. Let's bring that hip down. All right, we're going to rotate to the other side. Okay. We're going to take that top leg. Bend the knees, feet together, top knee rotates up. Here we go, very little break. We're gonna try to keep moving in this class. So we're gonna do two exercises back to back. You know, back and forth, back and forth kind of thing. Good, try to keep that hip facing in the forward direction. Paying attention to that, sometimes it gets away from you. <clears throat> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, we're gonna do one more beach. I wanna do three sets today. So we're gonna do one more plank, three rounds, get some extra work in fatigue our body a little bit more, it builds us more strength. So you can go off the knees if you would like to do modified or off the toes if you want to go with the regular plank. We'll go in five seconds. Go in three, two, one. Here we go, prop up. We're gonna hold it. Good breathing, like I said, shaky is okay. You can keep focusing right through the shaking. So nice smooth breathing pattern tends to help. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're already halfway there. Try not to let your hips drop to the floor. You want to keep them up. If you, if you feel them like they're dropping, you can't hold them up anymore. So maybe try a modified plank. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one, come down easy. All right, we're gonna lie on the side again. Pick either side. We're gonna go pretty quick since this is our third round. Bent knees, feet together. And here we go, clamshell. Rotate that top hip. Bring that knee back down together. It's a hip rotation exercise. Keeps a nice, strong hip. And hips and core very much work in sync with core strength and back strength. We don't want to do two together. Six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna turn to the other direction. Okay, top leg. Here we go, rotate up. Already halfway. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can take a pause. Next up on our list is bridging. So bridging is a core glute hip kind of exercise. It does multiple things. You're gonna lie on your back with bent knees. Your feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna give two options for those of you who wanna do something uh, a more challenging bridge and those who wanna do a regular one like I'm gonna do. So regular feet, say planted on the ground, we're gonna drive the hips up towards the ceiling. That's a regular bridge. If you would like something more challenging, cross a leg over the other one and you're going to do a single leg bridge. And then halfway through, I'm gonna tell you to change legs and then go to the other leg and bridge up and continue, okay? So. Let's start our bridge, feet shoulder width apart, bent knees, and here we go. Lifting up and down. This is one in the future we're gonna try with a band too. So if you got a band, maybe bring it to a future class. If you don't, you don't even know what I'm talking about, then just uh, ask me when you see me in the facility, I'll show you what they look like. That way you can have one for when we start. Halfway through, you can change legs if you're doing a single leg bridge. If you're doing a bridge like I am, you're just going to continue with our pace. You can drive your hips as high as you can, right up to the ceiling. Don't be afraid to go all the way up. Three, two, one. Okay. Roll to a side. We're going to rotate that bridging with a hip exercise. So two exercises again, back and forth, back and forth. So we're going to do a side hip abduction. Top leg, you're going to straighten them out. You're going to lay on either side. Take the top leg, keep the toe facing forward. We're just going to go up and down with that leg. And we're going to hold that rhythm. All right. So Hips and toes facing in the forward direction with us. And here we go, up and down. Make sure you don't point that toe up to the ceiling. You're gonna take away from the exercise. We're gonna change what we're doing. We really wanna work the outer part of the hip. And if you point that toe up, we're gonna kind of change it to the front of our hip. And the sides of our hips don't really get too much work. So it's nice to keep those strong to help keep a nice strong core, help keep a nice strong back. It's okay if it starts to burn. We're gonna do 45 seconds. See if you can just keep holding your rhythm right through the burning sensations. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna turn. We're gonna rotate to the other leg. idea top leg and here we go up and down toes and hips facing the forward direction right right with our eyesight we don't want it up towards the ceiling Fifteen seconds. Burning's okay. Keep seeing if you can force it up through that burning. If you need to take a break for a second. You can do that. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, turn to your back. Fatigue is good, and that's what that burning sensation is. So if we can keep working through it, usually that's a very good thing. It's gonna wear our muscles down so they build up stronger. All right, let's do our bridge. You can do a single leg by crossing one leg over the other. If you want something more challenging, you want to just do a basic bridge like I am. You're gonna put both feet on the ground and we're gonna lift the hips in the air. Let's go in three, two, one, bridge up. Up and down, drive the hips as high as you can. You want to build that core strength, some hip flexors, glutes. So get up as high as you can. If you want a more challenge too, you can always stop before your, your back and your, and your butt kind of hit the ground. You're going to kind of leave that just uh, elevated a little bit. It's going to fatigue you, it's going to make it harder. You need to come all the way down to the ground between each one for a rest. You can do that halfway, chain legs. If you're doing both legs, you just keep the rhythm. Right, seven, six, five more, five, four, Three, two, one. Good, take a rest. We're gonna turn to a side. We're gonna do a side leg raise. Doesn't matter which leg you wanna start with. We're gonna take that top leg, toe faces forward, hips facing forward, and here we go. We're gonna lift up and down with that leg. Forty-five seconds each leg. We're just doing two sets of each one of these. So this is actually the last set of this uh, exercise series. We're going forty-five seconds. We're halfway. Keep trying to get that leg up. Keep the hip going, even through the burning. If it's starting to burn, I guess that that's an okay thing. It's just your muscles fatiguing. But the more we can fatigue them, the more strength you build. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, good. All right, turn to face the other direction. All right, side hip abduction. Same idea. Here we go. Toes and hips face forward. We're just up and down with that leg. This is another one. If you want it to be a little harder, you just kind of keep that leg elevated without resting it on top of the other leg when you come down. Or you can take that quick rest if you just need that rest. Try to challenge yourself. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good, okay. We're gonna turn to our back side. I wanna do one more core exercise. It's called the dead bug. It's a really nice, safe core exercise. A dead bug is, you're gonna to to put your arms in the air. You're gonna pull your legs up off the ground with bent knees. You're gonna drop an opposite arm and an opposite leg. And you're gonna bring it back up. You're gonna drop the other arm and the other leg and then bring that one back up. Okay, so you just kind of go back and forth between the two. If you need something a little more modified, you're gonna start in the same position, but you're just gonna do the feet only. Okay, you don't have to do the arm part. All right, so pick which one you wanna do. It takes a little bit of rhythm and practice, but it gets better the more you practice. Arms up. Bent knees, here we go, opposite arm, opposite leg. You can go as far down as you want. Some of you might want to go to the ground with your arm in the leg. I'm going a little bit shorter, it makes it a little easier. So go with what level you feel is the appropriate difficulty. 
Nice smooth pace, nothing fast. We're on a 45 second set. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, take a rest. We're gonna mix that up with a core exercise. Another one, we're gonna do two core exercises to do some extra core here. We're gonna do a knee push. Knee push is you pull the legs up off the ground with bent knees. You're gonna place your hands on those knees. You're gonna push your knees, but you're gonna resist yourself. So I'm gonna push. I'm not going anywhere. It's just gonna lock up my core. We're gonna hold it for 15 seconds, all right? So step one, pull the feet up off the ground, all right? Have some bent knees. Step two, place your hands on your thighs, preferably higher toward your knees and toward your hips, so nice and high. And here we go, keep your head down, just give a little push, little push to those legs, create some nice core tension, and just hold that. We got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring those legs down. All right, good. So we're gonna do some stretching for the last 10 minutes. You're gonna lie on your back. We're gonna start with a knee to chest. If we're stretching out the lower back, your glutes. So what we're gonna do is you can do it with a straight leg and pull the knee in. You can do it with a bent knee and pull the other hand. Uh, bent knee is just a little bit easier. So I'll let you decide if you wanna go straight with it. I'm gonna go bent today. So we're gonna pick either knee and just pull that in. Give that a little pull. Yep, you can go further if you want than I am. You know, 30 seconds on each leg. Try to relax through your stretching, breathe nice and smooth. Three, two, one. Bring that leg down. Other leg comes in. Just give a little bit of pull until you hear your foot point of tension, until you feel it. And here we go, 30 seconds, this one. Again, you're, the leg that you're not pulling in with your hands, you can have it bent like mine, or you can straighten it up to the ground if you would like to. It's just a little, a little more aggressive, but it's typically okay for most people. Three, two, one, good. Bring that leg down. We're gonna do a knee to opposite shoulder. So it's very similar to what we just did. Instead of pulling it straight into our body, we're gonna pull that knee up in the direction of our opposite shoulder. So it's almost across the body. You can do it with this flat leg again. You can do it bent um, like I'm gonna do. If you're gonna do it bent, you just take your foot, bring it to the other side of that bent knee, grab that knee with the opposite hand and kind of just pull it up and across. Nice and gently, so you feel a little pull in the outer part of your hip and your glutes. And here we go, 30 seconds. It doesn't matter which leg you're gonna do for stretching because we're gonna do both sides anyway. So let's start with that whatever you want. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go to the other leg. Grab with the opposite hand, pull up to the opposite shoulder. And here we go. 30 seconds here. Two, one, okay. Now 
Next up is a type of piriformis stretch. You're gonna cross one leg over the other one. You're gonna take the hand of the leg that's crossing over. You're gonna put it on that leg and you're just gonna push it away until you feel some tension and just hold that. Okay, so cross one leg over, push on that leg. Here we go, 30 seconds. Two, one, okay, bring that leg down, let's cross the other one over. Same idea, give it a push. Okay, relax that hand. We have two more stretches to go. One's going to be both um, double knee to chest. So you're going to grab both legs, both hands, pull it into your body, hold it. Okay, so give that a hold. Five seconds. Good, we're gonna do one more. I wanna do a hip flexor. So we're gonna do kneeling hip flexor. So you're gonna come on up. If you have something you wanna kneel on, um, a little softer, I would put that under your knee. You can always fold up a mat a couple times. We're gonna kneel on the ground with one leg. Get the other leg out in front. Up tall in our sh shoulders and posture. So I'm just gonna kind of take my hips, just drive them forward a little bit so I can feel a little bit of a pull in that back leg. All right, so give that a hold. Okay, change leg, last one. Kneeling, get the other foot out in front. Good posture, head up, shoulders up. If you need to drag your hips forward a little bit, you can until you feel that pull in the leg that's kneeling on the ground. We have 10 seconds longer. Yeah, three, two, one, and you're all set. Good class. Thank you for coming.